Can diet influence the taste of semen? What is the secret behind female sexual fantasies? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Diet can influence the taste of semen. Consuming certain foods, such as citrus fruits or pineapple, may result in a more pleasant taste, while the consumption of processed or garlic-laden foods can negatively affect the taste. Female sexual fantasies can have multiple origins, such as personal experiences, unfulfilled desires, or even cultural influences. They are a normal part of sexual life and can help increase desire and arousal in intimacy. Hypersexuality is a condition in which a person experiences a significant increase in sexual desire. It can be debilitating and requires treatment if negatively affecting someone's life. Importance of lubricant. Lubricant can enhance comfort during sex, especially in situations of vaginal dryness or when using sexual toys. Choosing an appropriate lubricant is important. Influence of pornography. Pornography has had a significant impact on sexual expectations and sexual education for many individuals. It can be a source of inspiration, but may also create unrealistic expectations about sex and relationships. Influence of social media on sexuality. Social media can influence body perception, sexual expectations, and communication in relationships. It is also used to connect with diverse sexual communities. Intelligence. Many women value intelligence and the ability to engage in interesting and meaningful conversations. Lack of sexual education. Despite the importance of sexual education, many societies lack adequate sexual education programs, leading to misunderstandings and health risks. Lubrication is essential. Since the anus doesn't naturally lubricate like the vagina, it's crucial to use lubricants to prevent friction and reduce the possibility of irritation. Men in relationships tend to masturbate more than singles. This is because regular sexual activity can increase testosterone levels, thereby boosting sexual desire. This cycle is an interesting phenomenon that illustrates the relationship between sexual activity and body chemistry. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation knows no age limit. Older individuals can also enjoy self-exploration and sexual satisfaction throughout their lives. Medications and orgasm. Some medications, such as antidepressants, can affect a person's ability to reach orgasm. This is a known side effect of certain medications. Multiple female orgasms. Some women experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This may result from increased sensitivity and the ability to maintain sexual desire after the first orgasm. Multiple orgasms. While more common in women, some men can train themselves to experience multiple orgasms without the traditional refractory period. National Condom Day. In some countries, National Condom Day is celebrated to promote awareness of the importance of condom use in preventing sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies. Nonverbal communication. The ability to communicate through gestures, eye contact, and positive body language can be very attractive. Orgasm and pregnancy. Female orgasms may have a positive effect on pregnancy. Some research suggests that orgasms may increase the chances of conception, possibly due to contractions aiding sperm movement. Orgasm gap. There exists an orgasm frequency gap between men and women in heterosexual relationships. Women often have fewer orgasms than men in these situations, posing an intimacy concern. Orgasm without ejaculation. Similar to men, some women can experience orgasms without the expulsion of fluids, like male ejaculation. This phenomenon is known as female ejaculation, or squirting. Orgasmic dysfunction. About 10% to 15% of women may experience difficulties reaching orgasm, known as anorgasmia. This can be due to psychological, physical, or a combination of factors. Pain shouldn't be ignored. While some initial discomfort during anal sex is common, persistent pain can be a sign that something is wrong. Pain should not be ignored, and open communication is key. Penis size, there is a wide variety in the size of male genital organs. Although the average is usually around 13 to 15 centimeters when erect, sizes vary significantly. 
Having a larger penis does not necessarily guarantee greater sexual pleasure for the partner, as satisfaction depends on other factors such as technique and communication. Personal style. How a man dresses and presents himself can be attractive to some women. Personal style can communicate creativity and self-expression. Point A is an area inside the vagina that some women find particularly sensitive. Stimulation of this area can lead to intense orgasms and is less known than the G-spot. Post experience. After anal sex, some people may experience temporary sensitivity or discomfort. Resting and caring for the area can help alleviate any discomfort. Post-orgasm syndrome. Some men may experience a feeling of tiredness or drowsiness immediately after orgasm, known as post-orgasm syndrome. This is believed to be due to the release of hormones such as prolactin. Prostate and P-spot. The P-spot is the male counterpart to the G-spot and is located in the prostate. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms, and some men enjoy this form of stimulation. Pseudosiasis, also known as psychological pregnancy, is a condition in which a person experiences pregnancy symptoms, such as abdominal weight gain and absence of menstruation, despite not being pregnant. This phenomenon is uncommon, but illustrates the mind's influence on the body. Psychological effects. Orgasms release various chemicals in the brain, including dopamine and oxytocin, which can have powerful effects on emotions and the connection between sexual partners. Refractory period. In contrast to women, most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot reach another orgasm or erection. The duration of this period can vary significantly among men. Sleep and sex are interconnected. Having sex before bedtime can help release tensions and promote more restful sleep. Additionally, some people experience erotic dreams that can result in sexual arousal during the night. Respect for limits. Respecting the partner's limits is fundamental. If someone does not feel comfortable or is not interested in trying anal sex, those limits should be respected. Right side and left side. Some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Role of relaxation. Mental and physical relaxation is key to a comfortable experience. Anxiety and stress can negatively impact readiness for anal sex. Skin as a sexual organ. The skin is the body's largest organ and is filled with nerve endings. Physical contact, such as hugs and massages, can be highly erotic and stimulating. Smell and attraction. The sense of smell can influence sexual attraction. A person's natural scent, their pheromones, may play a role in sexual chemistry and attraction. Studies on the clitoris. Despite the importance of the clitoris in female sexual response, there has been a lack of research on this organ compared to the penis. However, there has been an increased focus on clitoral research in recent years. Tantric sex is a practice that focuses on emotional connection and deep intimacy. It emphasizes control of arousal and can lead to prolonged and satisfying sexual experiences. The association. Between financial stress and sex, financial stress can have a negative impact on couples' sex lives. Concerns about finances can decrease sexual desire and satisfaction. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.